Hey there guys, Jordan on the Know here, and what I want to do is just make a quick video talking about the differences between AMOLED and LCD screens. In my prior video, I talked about the Nokia Lumia 925, and now I had an AMOLED screen, and that's great, but I feel like I didn't explain well enough what an AMOLED screen can actually do for you. So this video is sort of dedicated to that. Now, if you're looking for a more technical video, I'll place a link to Erica Griffin's video in the description. She's more technical and more in-depth, but the purpose of this video is just to be digestible for you guys to understand easily. So, let's get into it. So, when you're picking out a phone or a tablet or even a desktop, the display is one of the most important things that you're going to have to consider when purchasing one of these. Primarily because you're going to be looking at it all the time. And you should know if there are any better screens out there for you. So let's start with LCD screens. The iPhone, the HTC One, and the LG G series all have LCD screens. So an LCD screen has plenty to offer. They're generally more accurate concerning colors, tend to be brighter, and also cheaper to make. But the colors can be a little underwhelming and does require a little bit more energy to use. What we have here is an iPhone 5S. That black part is the backlight that emits light towards you, and on top of that black part is the digitizer for touch and for distributing color. Think back to the old Game Boy Advance back in the day. If you had one like I did, you should know that you had to play in a well-lit room, and if you played in the dark, you couldn't really see what you were doing. Now, when the Game Boy SP came out, that changed things a little bit, and it allowed you to be able to play in the dark because it shipped with a backlight. AMOLED screens, however, are a little different. They produce richer, more saturated colors, sometimes oversaturated, and they're more energy efficient, but very expensive to make. And this technology is very different from LCD screens. You need to understand that a display is made of a certain amount of pixels. My Note 3, for instance, is 1080 pixels wide and 1920 pixels top to bottom. Now, every one of these pixels has an individual backlight and filter, unlike LCD screens, which just has one large backlight and one large filter. That means if each individual pixel has its own backlight, the parts of the display that show black color can be simply turned off, and that results in very deep blacks. Which leads to my next point, how AMOLED screens are more energy efficient. If you're someone that isn't into personalization, or someone who likes dark colors, this display is definitely for you. Doing something as simple as putting a black wallpaper on your background can save a lot of battery life. But personally, I really do like AMOLED screens. I really like being able to control what portion of the screen I can use, and I also like being able to see those oversaturated colors. To me, oversaturated colors just makes the display a lot more immersive, and just a more pleasant viewing experience. But this pretty much wraps up my video. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you can see your phone screen from a different perspective now and maybe in the future you can make a more informed decision on what kind of screen that you would like on your phone. But this has been Jordan in the Know. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.